So now we're going to make squares out of straws. The bendy straws are great and they help us make regular shapes. It's okay if you don't if you can't find bendy straws, but I usually get them from the cap pound shop. So what you do is you bend the straw on the short end and you make a little V shape at the end. Just use your finger and make a V shape. Now you don't want to go all the way to the end because that will make the straw weaker. Now that you've got your V shape, you're going to stick it in the long end all the way down to the corrugation. That way we're going to have all of our edges to be the same length. So here we go, another V shape all the way down, another V shape. That one I've made a little bit rough. That's going to be a little bit weak there. So let's see if I can do it. Oh, I've weakened it and I'm still getting it nearly all the way down. One last one to finish our square. Of course, well, you don't have to stop at squares. You can make any shaped polygon you like. And now we're going to combine three squares that we've made to make a 3D shape. So there's several 3D shapes that we can make and what we do tend to do is get the children to work it out. You can make a triangular base pyramid, oh, whoa. triangular prism even. You can um, make, well, children will often think, well, we could make a cube. You could if you combined more than three squares together. Well, often come up with a shape along these lines. So that is a 3D shape. And the next challenge is to ask them to make a polyhedron or a 3D shape that, where every face is made out of a polygon. So of course this one meets that criteria. Then the extension is that every edge is made out of one straw. To do that, there is only one regular polyhedron that will meet that criteria, and that is this beautiful shape here. If you can see what's going to happen now, we're going to tie the edges together. So we're going to start with the blue and the red. We're going to, now we're going to tie it really, really tight. We're going to squish those corrugations and we're going to put a double knot in it and as soon as this is definitely best done collaborating together now we're going to do this one at the top this is possible to do with one person it's even better if there are three people that's fine with two it's just a team of three it's probably more fun I think I'm at the point now when I can start joining in with the time and um, so many things you can do with this you can make triangles as well you could make this shape out of many triangles which helps the children work out how many faces you're using now because we're making this particular shape out of squares also helps them see the symmetry. You can use symmetry to actually, instead of counting how many faces this shape has, this is, by the way, the skeleton of the shape. We're just seeing the edges. A polyhedron would be a solid shape, so for that you could actually wrap the shape in paper. The, um, the great thing is you can see the planes of symmetry. You can actually see the three squares that it's made up of, you can calculate how many edges it's got, because you know it's got three squares, and you know you've just made three of them, and each square has four edges, so you can calculate how many faces it's got. You can see so much symmetry in this shape. 
And the next video that we do, we're going to talk about what happens when we dip these shapes inside a bucket full of bubble juice. To see that, go to bubblymaths.co.uk. Thank you.